Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Maria, and if you're watching this, then you're watching my first ever, ever video on YouTube, and I'm a little bit nervous if you can't tell. So this video is about why I'm going from being a hardcore Instagrammer, which I will explain in a bit, to starting this new journey on YouTube. Why am I doing this? I don't know. Okay, well I do know. I have some ideas. So here is a bit of background info on me and what I do and who I am. I am a tennis player uh, and a content creator that solely makes content and solely monetizes content creation through partnerships on Instagram and that's what I've been doing since 2017. I think I've worked with over a hundred brands, events, that sounds pretty cool when I say it like that, but here's what they don't tell you. Most of them are not making that much money. Most of them are not making a full-time living from Instagram, even though maybe their feeds, their photos maybe look like they're living the life. Trust me, Instagram is maybe not even a part-time job for most people, but it takes the effort of almost a full-time job. A blog and a YouTube channel, you have way more control over it than Instagram. In my opinion, Instagram has three major problems. And the first one, it, it's not a problem from Instagram, but it speaks for itself. It's the rise of TikTok. Why is TikTok becoming so popular when it's something that is quite similar to Instagram? And why are less people using Instagram when it's supposedly the best app of its kind, the best photo and video sharing platform together? So just that, thinking about how popular TikTok is now, how many people are making a lot more money on TikTok than they would have on Instagram, just gives, like that is a huge red flag where you just know that Facebook is doing something wrong with Instagram. Obviously, there is a problem when a new platform just took the lead like that, like no questions asked, everyone just kind of jumped on board. Um, I didn't. Well, I did, but then I deleted it. Snapchat tracks your info, but like TikTok does it more. I don't know, but I, I'm not going into TikTok. Was it a mistake? I don't know, time will tell, but I've chosen YouTube for now. Number two is monetization issues, okay? So when you think of having a blog or a YouTube channel, I've watched a lot of YouTubers and bloggers talk about it. It's just so much more streamlined, the way that you can make money. Okay, you look at Instagram and you see influencers and content creators, some of them make money, but there are issues. How long have people been waiting to monetize from Instagram uh, IGTV? When was the last time that you watched a full IGTV video? I think I've watched one, maybe by accident, in the last month. I haven't implemented that and they have been saying they would. I've seen some uh, YouTubers talk about that, but they haven't done it yet. YouTube has that already built in from the beginning. Another part I wanted to talk about is the monetization issues with fake engagement. I know that on every social media platform, it's possible for you to buy fake likes, buy fake followers, buy fake views, reach, impressions, all of this. You can buy a lot of fake stuff. But Instagram just seems to be dominating that to the maximum. Okay, as a creator who has around 60,000 followers on Instagram, I've worked since 2015, 2016 to have this audience, uh, which I'm very, very grateful for. But there's people who reach out to me, hey, do you want to grow your followers, la la la, buy our service, buy this, it's all real. It's not, it's not real, sorry. There are overnight influencers from this sort of thing, and it's it's beginning to make the platform lose its credibility, lose its trust score. Uh, people are getting sick of it, of all the, the, the fakeness that is going on. Whatever way you want to take that, the transparency on Instagram is just not very transparent. And honestly, I personally think that Instagram, Facebook has not done a good enough job and they're not setting uh, a good example from, from this point of view. Here's the other monetization issue, okay? Monetization issue number three. It's that Instagram, Facebook.
Facebook wants you to pay for the ads. They don't want brands to pay influencers for the ads. Influencer marketing has become so popular. They want that brands pay them directly for ads instead of going through influencers, which has proven to be very effective. How can I know this? How do I prove this? Because organic engagement is dropping. Yes, there is that one in a million chance that your video will go viral or maybe maybe you're just an amazing person and your video will go viral like you've hit it you have that you have that it factor i don't know i don't know what it is if we knew what it was 100 percent, then everyone would go viral and that's not possible but especially in the past year i've found is that organic engagement is dropping so for me as a creator who has worked very hard and spent <laughs> Promise that's true. It is so disappointing because from 60,000 followers that I have, I'm not even capable of reaching that full audience. I'm not, not just because I put out crappy content, okay? Maybe that is, I, maybe I don't create the best quality content that I can, but I am trying. Instagram has been proven to have reduced the organic reach in order for you to pay them to boost your post. Okay, that is, that, is, that is it for now with monetization issues because I can't. <laughs> the third issue that I see is short-lived content, okay? I know that people have been saying that people's attention span is the length of a goldfish or something like that, but you know, I love that stories are becoming more popular and people are consuming that kind of content every day and it's short and fun and cool. But if you search a YouTube video or a blog and you, you watch it, you can watch one that is like two years old. Can you say the same for Instagram? Do you go back to a photo that was taken a year ago? It's starting to become a bit more popular as more educational videos or how-tos, recipes. Maybe uh, some people are posting longer form videos to show how, how to make something or a fitness routine. Maybe you'll save it. If you really love it, maybe you'll save it. But when you really want to do that, when you want to go and do your lockdown workout, do you go to Instagram for that or do you go to YouTube? Do you really have a photo that you've saved for years? Very few, very few photos have that kind of effect on someone. Uh, and stories, yeah, stories are for being real and authentic. That's the trend nowadays, but they only last 24 hours. <sighs> so that is pretty exhausting because the problem with the short-lived content is that the amount of effort it takes to create Instagram content, yes, perhaps it is less than making YouTube content, I'm not an expert in that, but still, the amount of effort it takes for, for that, and it just doesn't, it just doesn't translate, the results don't equal it, you don't get, you don't get the reward for it unless you go viral or, or semi-viral. I don't like that, I'm not a fan on to some of my personal reasons that maybe you can relate to as to why i'm starting this youtube channel maybe it'll relate to you in a certain way and maybe it'll help you to start your own youtube channel i don't know maybe this would have zero views and you will see this is why not to start a youtube channel so yeah without further ado the main reason that i'm starting a youtube channel which i just kind of discovered for myself today and it just kind of clicked in my head is because I can't connect to my audience on Instagram and to other people the way that I want to. Instagram allows me to have a lot. It, it allows me, it has allowed me to build relationships in the past years with over a hundred brands and to talk to people that I never would have and to work with amazing photographers and just connect with, with people that I love. But am I connecting to my audience? And recently I've been asking myself that and the way that it's going, it just seems to be more money, 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 money business and stuff. And it's very hard to put out genuine content. And I want to talk, as you can see, I, I, I like to talk. So yeah, I think that hopefully I can connect with people better on here and we'll see the results. I'm also hoping that this channel will allow me to have the possibility to maybe inspire and maybe help others because that is actually my goal with content creation. That is my first and foremost, my goal is that I wish to help inspire and educate others. These days, especially with COVID, okay, I didn't want to talk about it in this video, but here we are. 
people have dealt with motivation struggles, okay, I know I have, but again, it's for another video. And I, I think I, I love it. I love it when I watch people that motivate me in a video or people that are very passionate about something. I love watching that. And I'm just thinking, I mean, why don't I use my passion in that way? Why can't I use it in that way? And I think I've put myself in this box with Instagram for the last four years or five years where here I can maybe do a lot more with it and what I want. So yeah. And last but not least, I think that YouTube gives you the opportunity to be more transparent and real with your audience. Instagram still has this uh, stigma and expectations in it where since it's becoming more about business and business is about, you know, looking good and selling, uh, not just physically, I mean like looking good, like products, photos, whatever, the editing and being real on stories now, as I said, it's like a trend, but still it's, it's short lived. It's only there for 24 hours and Instagram still has this idea that you have to make the product, the, the photo, the content look really, really perfect still. Um, no matter what the trend is or no matter that people are becoming more real, it, it still has that and okay, that has its place, it has its pros and cons. Um, but look at this video, I would never have the ability to do something like this through Instagram. So I think this video in itself explains why I'm here and why I'm doing this. And I hope that this way people will get to know me, I will get to know other people better and I can also just share more and hopefully inspire and motivate, educate others on what I know about and what I'm passionate about. Yes, Ooh, I ruined my hair there. I hope this video maybe helped you, maybe it inspired someone to start their own YouTube channel or not. Like I said, this could just be a major flop, but no matter what, even if it's a fail, I will have learned something from it and I have a good feeling, but let's just, let's just not talk about it anymore because it's making my heart go into my throat. <laughs> Please, if you like this video or found it helpful, like, comment, subscribe, share, uh, follow me on Instagram because that's where I am still most active, but hopefully I will be doing this transition to being a YouTuber. That sounds kind of cool. Yeah. Bye. Have a great day.